Dogs are considered to be man's best friend, but there are dozens of different breeds out there, each with its unique personality traits and features. While some are friendly, others are more suited to act as guards. But the dog we are going to talk about today is an absolute cutie. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we are going to tell you about the French Bulldog and why this goodies boy girl can make an amazing pet for you. So let us begin. Let us start with the history of the French Bulldog. The French Bulldog's origins date back to ancient Greece. The Molossus breed of large working and combat dogs was developed by the Molossians, a tribe in ancient Greece. Numerous breeds such as St. Bernard's, Great Pyrenees, Rottweilers, Pitbulls, Newfoundlanders and the Bullion Basa descended from the Molossus breed, which gave rise to a subfamily of breeds. The Bullion Basa, a breed that is now extinct, was employed for bull baiting a blood sport in which dogs would try to paralyze bulls by latching onto their snouts with their powerful jaws. These canines would eventually give origin to the contemporary bulldog breeds, which include Old English Bulldogs, English Bulldogs, American Bulldogs and French Bulldogs. Bull baiting, a barbaric blood sport, was forbidden in Britain in 1835. Bulldogs who were out of work accepted a similar existence with laxer breeding regulations. In order to develop the current bulldogs we are familiar with, breeders started combining the larger Bull and Basa with Terriers and other Bulldogs. London was covered in miniature Bulldogs by 1850. These Bulldogs only shared the renowned short muzzle and large face anatomy with their Bull and Basa forefathers. Instead of being sports dogs, they were now companion animals. To get the small size of the modern French Bulldog, the Bulldog was crossed with Terriers and Pugs before it arrived in France. Miniature Bulldogs weighing 16 to 27 pounds were common in conformation shows in England by 1860. Lace workers from Nottingham started migrating to France in the same period to look for work in Normandy after being driven out by the Industrial Revolution. A variety of dogs, including the small bulldog, were brought along by the lace workers. The French developed a strong preference for the miniatures and new lines for importing the tiny bulldogs between England and the Normans were established. The French received bulldogs that the English deemed inappropriate for breeding. Since there wasn't much of a market for dogs in Britain anymore, the English were happy to sell the animals to the French. Bulldogs were disliked by the English because they were undersized and had erect ears, but the French adored these traits. So began the line of the French Bulldog. Now let us talk about some of the pros of this dog. French Bulldogs are wonderful pets for families. They were developed as companions and like social interactions. They make the perfect companions for families with young children because of their small size. However, young children should always be watched around a new puppy. As working dogs, numerous dog breeds were developed. Some dogs were intended for protection, while others were bred for hunting or herding. Many of these dog breeds can make good family pets, but they can't match those that were developed specifically to be companion animals for people. Frenchies are friendly and engaging, and they enjoy themselves greatly. This is one of the best breeds to adopt if you're seeking a new family member. Plus, they have wonderful personalities. One of the cutest and friendliest breeds of dog is the Frenchie. This is the breed to choose if you want a canine companion who will always make you smile. These dogs are always willing to accompany you. They will lie on the couch next to you if you want to watch a movie. They will step up if you wish to go for a stroll. Numerous dogs require frequent grooming, including trimming, brushing, and bathing. Frenchies are low maintenance though. If you give your dog a bath once a week, it will be okay. Every week after giving your Frenchie a bath, you can brush it to reduce shedding. Additionally, make sure you regularly clip its nails. All you have to do to maintain your Frenchie's good looks is that. The fact that Frenchies are simple to teach is another fantastic trait. Naturally, how well you train them will depend on how hard you work. But once you get going, they pick it up quickly. Frenchies fare well in dog training lessons and are adept at picking up simple commands like sit and stay. They make wonderful friends and take joy in seeing you happy, which is one of the reasons. Finally, they don't bark a lot, so you won't have any complaints from the neighbors. Now, let us talk about some of the cons of owning this doggy. When they are teething, puppies typically chew on anything they can get their mouths on, and Frenchies are no exception. Frenchies can continue to grind their teeth after they reach the age of eight months, if you haven't trained them. You should provide your Frenchie with safe chew toys to play with and work hard to teach it not to chew. When your dog is teething, keep the toys nearby and make sure your shoes and other things are out of the way. Plus, they need a lot of attention. This isn't always a bad trait, but if you're someone who travels frequently, you'll need to get a dog walker or make other arrangements for your Frenchie. 
you shouldn't leave these devoted dogs alone at home for extended periods of time because they require a lot of care and attention. They merely require social interaction and can become depressed if they are alone. If you spend most of your day away from home, you should give getting this breed of dog some thought. Frenchies are known to be affectionate, loyal, and fantastic friends. However, they can have a stubborn streak in them at times. You need to show patience with them and steer clear of a contest of wills if at all possible. When you make the decision to bring a French Bulldog into your house, you should keep this information in mind. Even though Frenchies are very simple to train, housebreaking can be a time-consuming process. You need to start off on the right foot by developing a reliable routine. Ensure that you have set times on the calendar at regular intervals so that your Frenchie always knows when to anticipate going out. Acquaint yourself with the indications that your Frenchie needs to go outside and learn how to recognize them. It is possible that your dog has to go outdoors if you see it pacing about the room, whimpering, barking, standing and looking at you, or standing near the door. All of these behaviors are indicators that your dog needs to relieve themselves. Oh, and potty training isn't the only issue. The farts of these doggies can stink to high heaven. Nobody will ever be able to adequately prepare you for how terrible their flatulence is. It is a poisonous gas that will seep into every crevice of your body and will stay for hours. It goes without saying that a large part of it will depend on what you are feeding them. But even the healthiest and most well-balanced diet won't protect you from the dreaded Frenchie farts. There is no possibility at all that you will not have awful farts but the smell can be mitigated by selecting foods that are better for your dog. Drooling is common in French Bulldogs as well. This is usually nothing significant and just something that happens after they have eaten or drunk something. On the other hand, if your French Bulldog drools far more than usual, which is already quite a lot, this could be an indication of a more serious health issue. One last con or sad reality about these dogs is that they can be a victim of irresponsible breeders. To ensure that they do not breed dogs with genetic issues, good breeders test their puppies. Unreliable breeders, however, breed anything to profit. You need to be aware of any potential health problems brought on by negligent breeding. You need to be informed of the typical health issues they may experience. In this manner, you will be able to watch out for indications of these issues and provide your dog with the care it needs. One last piece of information is that they can be expensive. A purebred dog ranges from $1,500 to $8,000. So that was all we had time for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out. Adios.